good morning everybody welcome back to my youtube channel and welcome back to a brand new video firstly excuse if my voice sounds husky i actually don't feel very well god's law we are going away tonight for just the night and i don't feel very well which is great i mean i don't feel like really unwell it's just my voice is sort of going and i sound very husky so apologies about that but nothing i can really do i'm just doing my skincare for the day because we are going to leave shortly to go to wales we're actually going to drive to wales it's not too far from here it's like we're sort of going like central wales so it's probably going to take like three hours maybe um but we're going to stop off on the way to go for a really nice walk at the brecon beacons i think that's where it is Callum's wanted to do this walk for a while that's like a waterfall walk and we haven't done it so we're gonna do it today because this is like his birthday night away because his birthday was earlier this week so yeah we're gonna go away for the night we're taking Teddy with us we're gonna stay in a gorgeous little shepherd's hut and it's so like remote and in the middle of nowhere so it's gonna be really nice it's just not near a lot so that's just gonna be so cute i think it's got a log burner and it's just gonna be a really nice evening i'm probably gonna go out for dinner i think there is like a local town pub or something that's again in the middle of nowhere like there's only a few houses in the area so um yeah it's just gonna be really nice and then tomorrow i think we're gonna go to the beach there's a beach that's not far away well i think it's like 20 minutes away from where we're staying so it is in the opposite direction but we're just gonna go ew i just got spf on my lip we're just gonna go to the beach and then go home after so i thought i'd take you guys along with us today i've been really looking forward to it because i just i don't know i feel like even just a night away is just so nice but yeah i'm all packed um i packed teddy's stuff as well and we're gonna get in the car shortly and then leave probably gonna have to obviously make a few stops on the way for teddy but i'm really excited because this is his first time going away as well so yeah that's my skincare done why do i always do that <laughs> skincare is done and we're gonna leave in a minute teddy are you going on your first little trip baby going on a trip away you're gonna stay somewhere different I'm going on an adventure <laughs> we're in the car i feel like it takes so much more effort to go with a dog because you have so much more stuff. We have made it to, can't even say the name of it, <laughs> but in English it's Four Falls Waterfall Walk and we had the most scenic drive here. It was really lovely, wasn't it? A bit tight, like Sophie's the roads. Sophie's like Owen Wilson in the passenger seat. Wow! <laughs> but there's just something about being in nature and the countryside. I mean, we live in the countryside, but there's still like built up areas and stuff, but driving through here oh my god it was just beautiful so teddy's got his little coat on teddy oh you like all the smells he's got his little <laughs> high vis coat on callum's wearing shorts the crazy guy always wearing shorts even in the winter but i didn't realize how cold it was going to be we have just gone to like how what what would you say it was when we left 15 degrees yeah. to like six six degrees so i've just i hadn't even brought coat we're so unprepared for this temperature but i've just put my jumper on underneath my hoodie so i feel a bit warmer now Teddy bear, look at your little girl. <laughs> she nearly stacked it on camera. Oh, that actually really 
hurt my ankle. It's a bit cold, isn't it? It is. It's actually like my face is like freezing. I don't feel too cold, but it's my face. It feels really cold. But it's so nice here, and like the birds are chirping, and you can just hear waterfall sounds, and it's so peaceful. Teddy's loving it. He's just like sniffing everything. Teddy? Teddy? Are you having a good time? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that ear. <laughs> so guys we have arrived Shoking. <laughs> yeah it started to absolutely pour it down when we started walking back to the car after the walk the walk itself i can't say that i enjoyed all of it i enjoyed some of it I didn't realise it was going to be that hard. And you enjoyed I didn't... the waterfalls, you hated the walking. I hated the walking up because I didn't realise how many steps there were going to be, like built-in steps going up, and it was really steep as well. And if I knew it was going to be that difficult, I would have brought my inhaler, and I didn't, and I was puffing. Um, but I actually enjoyed the like flat walking and the waterfalls. But then it started to rain, like heavier and heavier, the further we were getting to the car, wasn't it? Yeah. And then by the time we got to the car, it was absolutely tipping it down. My hair is soaked still. Like, what is that? Teddy looks like a drowned rat. Um, but we finally arrived at our little shepherd's hut and it's really cute. It's just cold. <laughs> yeah, it's cold. We walked in and we were like, damn, it's freezing. And my jumper is still so, like, it's still so it wet. It's got a lot burn. Yeah, so. it's got a fire. So we're going to try and start the fire. <laughs> Both myself and Callum don't know how to do a fire. So we'll see how this goes. But um, I'm going to give you a quick little room tour. There is stuff everywhere already because of Teddy. Like, a lot of his stuff. But I'll show you. So as you walk in, this is what you see. So you've got the bed over here. Um, we've got some towels over there as well. Teddy keeps trying to get on the bed and this is pet friendly, but he's not allowed on the bed. Um, it says, please like keep them off of the furniture. So <laughs> we've got his bed here, his food bowl and everything. Um, there's a breakfast bar. There is a little kitchen area. They've got like a portable hob and stuff in the cupboards as well, which is good. Um, because I think we're going to try and venture out to find some breakfast stuff. But we're literally in the middle of nowhere, aren't we? It is in the sticks. Like, for ages on the way here, we had no signal. Yeah. <laughs> and we couldn't even well, put it on the map. Waterfall walk. We were literally driving blind for about, what, 20 minutes? Yeah, we just couldn't get signal. Just trying to go in the right direction. Um, then you've got the little log burner over here, which is so cute. And then you've got the bathroom, which is really warm and a shower around the corner so that's really cute it's actually so warm in here i might just sit in here but yeah i think that it's so cute we actually booked this well i booked this through airbnb for callum's <laughs> teddy you you've got your big bed look massive bed you honestly look like a muppet teddy <laughs> you're so tired aren't you you were sleeping in the car. You were having a little snooze. Are you a good boy? But guys, I <laughs> was really hangry after the... Oh, God. After the walk. You can sit on my lap, but not on the bed. Um, it's a little muppet. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I was severely hangry. You just licked in my mouth. I don't think hangry is the word for it. <laughs> I've had guys, nothing. I was... I. I've learnt my lesson. This is entirely my own fault, but I didn't eat breakfast before we left because I thought, oh, I can just get something on the way. And then nowhere had 
like gluten-free food really i got some pineapple but that's about it um so i ate half of the pineapple on the way there and then there was like this burger van that was out like at the car park of the walk and i thought like maybe they would do chips or something we didn't really look at the menu so we've gone off on this walk come back and callum was like oh i'm gonna get a burger so i've asked the guy like do you have anything gluten free looks at the menu no chips it was literally just burgers and he cooks it all on the same like hob frying thing grill. so yeah the grill so i couldn't have anything so then i was like oh my goodness i'm so hungry and then ate the rest of my pineapple tried to find some shops i and didn't help that i came back with a double bacon yeah and it smelled amazing so i was just sat there like severely hungry but we did manage to find a co-op so i managed to get something to eat um on the way but before that i was so hangry but we're here now we're gonna chill for a little bit try and light this fire and then we're gonna go out for dinner with you oh, put your hands up if you're muddy and wet woohoo <laughs> And stinky. And <laughs> stinky. <laughs> That's my hand. <laughs> what are you trying to say? You're the stinky one. You're the stinky wet rat. And we're going to the beach tomorrow, Teddy. Yeah, we're going to go to the, the beach. beach. Hopefully the weather's a bit nicer. Because it's really bad now. Really bad. Pissing down. Yeah. Woohoo! Beach time. It'll be your first time at the beach. Guys. <laughs> excuse the absolute state of me this is what this trip is going to consist of i'm going to look like this i was going to do my makeup i just can't be bothered it's now what time is it half seven and we're going to go out for dinner we're going to go for a pub dinner which is really nice the area that we're staying in also sorry if you can hear that noise callum's in the shower that shower so good the pressure was amazing i was very impressed um but yeah, this area that we're staying in is like, <laughs> just nothing is around. Like it's pitch black outside, um, which is just really like calming. I don't know why. I love just being in the middle of nowhere. Sorry, just had to change my battery. But yeah, there's something so nice about just being in the middle of nowhere. But there is a pub that's down the road. I think it's like a 10 minute walk. So it's probably like a five minute drive and they're dog friendly. So we're gonna take Teddy and i'm gonna have some dinner with callum which i'm really excited about because i'm so hungry again now i only had sushi earlier from co-op it was quite like a big pack of sushi but it just didn't really touch the sides because i haven't really eaten anything today so very excited to be having like a full hot meal and then we're gonna come back light the fire we haven't done that yet because we thought there's no point if we're gonna go out and then i think we're just gonna chill for the evening because I mean, there's not much else to do around here, but we did know that when we booked it. I brought Uno with us and um, I've got my laptop so we can watch a film if we want to as well. So it's just a really nice, cosy place. Like we were both just saying earlier, when the sun was setting, um, obviously there wasn't much of a sunset because it's been really rainy, but we were looking out the window that's in front of the bed and just having that view of just nature and just trees and fields it's just so therapeutic so yeah this is a very wholesome trip yes. and <laughs> say the shoot with your chest i think i'm gonna leave my hair like this does my hair look okay from the back it looks a bit messy there <laughs> i maybe need to I, yeah wrap it around still probably need to uh brush it actually oh, look at that fine physique <laughs> Um, yeah, to be fair, I actually do need to brush my hair because the rain has really made my hair frizzy. Callum's dishing up our food. Have we got a story for you? So, I look how I feel right now. We've just got back. We drove to the pub to find out that we have a flat tyre. And then we went into the pub and they said they'd stop serving food. So, we were like what are we actually going to do with no car our car doesn't have a spare tire just because of the type of car it is we managed to use the like repair kit which Come gives you yes please gives you like 30 miles so we had to drive 
to the nearest town we've got a takeaway like a curry we also had to pick up breakfast and luckily there was a sainsbury's next door so we went there we've called the aa luckily we have breakdown cover and they should be here in a bit this evening so i'm really hungry callum's really hungry Need wasn't to get the trip we had planned was no it? things just haven't gone to plan today but it's all good we're gonna eat our food because we're both hungry and we're gonna enjoy it it does smell really really good and then we're gonna wait for recovery to come save us we're lighting the fire everyone <laughs> yeah, i love handles <laughs> you love handles, you haven't got any. We're gonna see how this goes. I mean, I wouldn't know where to start with Line of Fire, so Callum's attempting it. morning everybody breakfast time in the little shepherd's hut i slept well but i kept waking up because the rain was so heavy i actually couldn't believe it i couldn't believe how heavy the rain was um and obviously because we're just in this little hut you can hear it a lot but the bed was really comfy and yeah, I had a good sleep. So did Callum. We actually went to sleep quite early actually. I had a banging headache by the end of the night. I think it was all the stress of the car, but the recovery guy is on the phone to Callum outside. Um, and I think he's nearly here. So hopefully they'll be able to change our tire. And then depending on how long that takes, we may or may not go to the beach, which is a bit annoying if we don't because We've wanted to take Teddy to the beach for so long and yeah. Trip didn't really go to plan but still have had a really nice time. This shepherd's hut is absolutely beautiful. It's so like cute and cosy and we lit the fire and it was just so nice. So that's really good. Got my avocado on some little Warburton thins. We managed to pick up some breakfast stuff last night from Sainsbury's. And Sainsbury's is actually good for gluten free, but they only had a small section, but they did have the Warburton's thins. So that's really good. At least I can actually eat today. I'm probably just gonna jump in the shower and brush my hair, brush my teeth. I'm not even gonna bother doing makeup because I'm probably gonna be just in a garage all day. So guys, <laughs> we're now home. It is a lot later on in the day. It's actually the evening now. We got home about I think it was about half one, two. Then we had a nap because we were so like tired. I think from the stress, to be honest, we actually didn't get to go to the beach, which is really sad. We were really looking forward to taking Teddy and having like a nice little day on the beach. But the tow company came at about 10 and they actually decided to just tow us home. So yeah, on we- the blog. Huh? on the blog yeah just explaining the situation um so yeah oh. they picked us up at like they came at like 10 didn't they earlier than that it's like quarter past nine sorry had to uh sort out the camera um what time did you say sorry quarter past nine. Oh, so they came at like quarter past nine then they were faffing well not faffing around but they were trying to get the car on the back weren't they and then we had to talk to our insurance company and then they had to approve it because originally we thought they were just going to take us to a garage to get the tyre changed. But for some reason they decided, well, AA told them that they had to take us home. So, yeah, it was like a two and a half hour journey, which I felt so sorry for the guy for because he had to drop us off and then go back to Wales. Um, luckily, Teddy was allowed in there because he was a small dog. So thank God he's not any bigger. But he was actually good as gold, wasn't he? Mm. he was, he's been so good throughout this whole thing. 
oh you know i'm talking about you <laughs> um but we're home it's all been sorted we're getting the tire changed tomorrow we just and... couldn't take teddy bear to the beach yeah but we are gonna go um hopefully in the next few months we thought maybe when the weather gets a bit nicer actually because it was raining in wales today as well and then as soon as we got home it was sunny wasn't it mm, we were just like, like we so well. yeah it's so typical um but yeah i think we're gonna take him when the weather gets a bit nicer you've been so good he's been so good and he actually loved staying in that little shepherd's hut didn't you you thought it was really fun he had a really nice walk at the waterfall yeah he was honestly so ko'd when we got back <laughs> he, he was literally so tired. just slept <laughs> But you loved that walk. You loved seeing the waterfalls. It was actually really, it was so pretty. So at least we got to do that. Thank goodness that the tire wasn't flat on the way there. Mm. Cause that would have just ruined it. But at least we actually got to do um, the thing that we went there to do. And then we got to mm. stay in the shepherd's hut, which was really lovely. And the owners were so nice. They were so understanding. Cause we were like, oh, checkout's at 10, but we don't know what time the tow company are coming. But luckily they came on time so but they did say we could stay later if yeah they did yeah and she offered to get us breakfast and luckily we'd already got the breakfast stuff so i said to her i was like thank you so much but we've already got some stuff but yeah i mean it wasn't the trip that we had planned and this vlog is probably quite short so i'm very sorry um that the vlog didn't turn no, out as planned was meant either to be a whole extra day in today yeah so um, it's gonna be quite obviously short. we were gonna go to the beach we were gonna get some food we were gonna do all sorts but we ended up being towed home yeah, and that was had the a only nap. activity for the day we <laughs> napped we played nap roulette yeah um, it's my favorite game yeah woke, set, up. woke up and not set an alarm yeah favorite just, game just see what time you wake up and i slept for like five hours went to sleep it wasn't five we went to sleep about, about two o'clock i yeah. woke up at quarter to seven was that how late it was yeah i woke up at about half five we were just i think it was just the stress of trying to sort it out um and teddy had a little nap with us as well because he was tired bless him but yeah i really hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog regardless it's been very eventful um but yeah, really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a like if you did and also subscribe. Hopefully there'll be some more little mini trips. We have got a few um, that we've been discussing, so we'll see. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I just can't believe how the trip ended, to be honest. But we had a nice time, didn't we? I did. I did have a nice time. The walk, guys, so was so hard. Was honestly, like the first half of the walk, you were fine. Yeah. The second half of the walk, I've never heard anyone moan. So much, yeah. Um, I'm not going to lie, guys. I found it really tough. To be fair, the major factors in it were you didn't have breakfast before we left. Yeah. And you forgot your inhaler. Yeah. And you struggled without your inhaler. So it's not the fact that you were moaning for no reason. Yeah. I you was, actually I just, had valid... It made me feel really unwell yeah, as well. She, had, we she had valid reasons and it was a lot... The walk was a lot harder than she thought it was going to be. And I'm not fit enough yet, guys. I can go to the gym all I want at the moment, but it's not going to save me in that walk. It was actually... Like, some of the steps were so... To, Steep. Yeah, to and be fair. We were rock climbing at one point, I, re I, re I reckon one of the steps you had to go down was a drop of about 250 feet. And you had it to was, obviously come back up as well. It and it was hard. all wet and muddy and slippy. And, and I was... didn't have my inhaler. And the, some of the bits are really hard. But other than that, I actually enjoyed it. Yeah, because there, was, there time... was one part as well where we were kind of following the trail... And you had to like rock climb, <laughs> literally rock climb. I'm not joking. I reckon rock about climb. <laughs> 100 feet high to get up there to yeah. the next trail. Got all the way up to the top, footpath was closed. It was shut. So we had to come all the way back down. And I was literally like, I'm just, it was near the end of the walk as well, wasn't it? That was like the about final three waterfall. Of the way through, and I yeah. thought, oh, thank goodness. As soon as I get up this, this rock climb, we're going to be done. And we weren't. We had to go all the way down and then come back all the way up the way we came which was again steep and muddy and wet and one point uh, up those rocks i slipped didn't i and i got all of my sleeve muddy luckily i didn't like properly fall over but 
<laughs> I wish that we could just live stream stuff because I wasn't able to vlog any of this because it was so like strenuous. Oh, I vlogged everything at the falls. Yeah, you did. Yeah. I just couldn't. Obviously not a lot because I'm not a vlogger, you know what I mean? But, but also, where, when do you have time to vlog no, on that walk? You just kind like... of, you kind of, because it's so pretty there as well, you kind of, well, I did. I kind of just you forget, forgot and yeah. you're just taking it in sort of thing. It is it is so pretty. And we're going to go back hopefully like spring, summer, like later on in the spring or summer. And we've decided that we're going to stop halfway because we actually did this flat out. Like we didn't have it took three hours a break. Well. Yeah. And we're going to so, take a picnic. Yeah. And we didn't even take a bottle of water with us stupidly. So <laughs> we were not prepared for this trip. I was. I was tell. fine. Yeah, you were fine, but I bet you were thirsty. I was actually okay. To be I was so I was so thirsty. I feel like we're making this out to be a lot worse than it was, but it was very eventful, and I wish that we could live stream stuff like this because I reckon people will be laughing their heads off at us or at me. <coughs> Probably not so much you. Definitely me. Yeah, I didn't do anything. I was fine the whole way. Mm. I I kept having to turn around and wait for you. <laughs> Me and Ted, not... Teddy was pulling me along up the hills. But can we just set the scene though? People were going around in walking boots, like hiking boots and hiking sticks, okay? I did not know that this was going to be the case. It was fun though. Like, we'll, we'll look back on it with funny memories. Yeah. And... and I got an app oh, in the car park where we parked. So we got back to the car park and there was this like burger hut. And, and honestly, really prob probably out of anywhere I've ever been for a burger, hands down the best one I've ever had. I had a double bacon cheeseburger. <laughs> That's so and funny. honestly, it was like that thick, wasn't it? Yeah, it did look really good. But I was so hangry at this point, I couldn't even watch him eat it. Because... And I kind of just kept quiet. Yeah, you... <laughs> so it was absolutely fuming. And I knew that partly she was fuming as well because I got food. No, I wasn't angry at you. I was but, angry at yeah. the situation. Well, I think I was just hangry. So I, just, I'd never I just kind of sat there say... in silence and was like, didn't but even, I would didn't never even say, say how you. nice it was or anything. <laughs> I would never say to you that you couldn't eat something because I can't eat it. Like, that's just not fair. But I just looked out the window and I just couldn't even bring myself to watch him eat it. And then once I'd found something and to eat... And then Soph turned around to me and went, how was your burger? And I was like, no, it was horrible. It was horrible. No, you Wor didn't. Worst burger I've ever had. <laughs> no, you didn't. After I'd eaten, I then had cheered up and I said to him, I was like, how was your burger? And he was like... Oh, only just like the best burger I've ever had in my life. <laughs> but by that point I'd eaten, so I was okay with hearing it. <gasps> Look at those little teddy legs. But anyway, guys, um, we're rambling now. I really hope that you've enjoyed this, even though it's probably not that long at all. Although half of this video is probably us talking right now. Love you guys so, so much. Have an amazing rest of your week and we will see you in the next video. Bye.